What's up everyone? Today we're back in my 570S. I'm gonna be modding this car and we're going to a very special place called Hub Auto. Hub Auto, I've been hearing for many, many years. They have their own professional race team. They have their own workshop. And I heard the owner of Hub Auto, Morris, legendary status. He used to be a professional racer, but now he just heads his whole professional race team, as well as the Hub Auto shops in Taiwan. And they are doing things in Taiwan that no one has ever done before. And I really want to meet Morris. So after Ryan went to Hub Auto to get his car work done, and realize how professional they are, there was no other place for me to take the 570S. I feel like Hub Auto is definitely the place to be. Any guy that owns his own professional race team and has his car done by his own team must know what they're doing. So without further ado, I'm gonna get going. I'll see you guys at Hub Auto. Enjoy the montage of Hub Auto Corsa as well as Hub Auto. And I heard they got a couple very special cars there. Rough, baby, rough. Out what's behind me. I mean, you guys know what this is, right? It's a rough. R-U-F-C-T-R-3. It's the one and only in Taiwan and I have the keys. I'm gonna be driving it. Kidding. So why don't I take you guys and check it out. This is an amazing, beautiful specimen. This, this creature, this beast is so pretty. I gotta show you guys this. This is really cool. I lift it up really slow. I do not want to hurt this baby. I can't afford it. But oh my God. Oh <laughs> Check that out. All right, be careful, Roy. This is why you should come and check out Hub Auto. And uh, well, this is really pretty as well. I love 997s. This is the RT12R, and look at that. Look how special that hole is. You guys ever seen anything like this? I mean, I can see the intercooler. Trust me, it's there. This is a beautiful car too, but I mean, this, this, is, this is the bad boy. Anyway, enough talk. Let me introduce you guys to the boss. All right, guys, so I wanted to introduce you guys to the boss here, Morris. Thanks for having us. And uh, I just have a couple questions, like how and when did you start Hub Auto? Okay, uh, I start uh, Hub Auto in 2014. Okay. And the reason why I started this shop because I have my own crew to service my race car. But in the meantime, I, I also need a group of people to work on my own uh, road car. So uh, that's the reason why I have an idea and start from a smaller shop in 2014 and we moved to this larger facility about two years ago. That's pretty cool. But um, this facility is very, very big. Can you tell me a little bit about this facility and what you have going on here? Uh, sure. We have, uh, first of all, alignment department. So okay. we can do all the alignment and the chassis work. Oh, that's important. Yeah. And then we have also engine room because we got couple of projects. We yeah, can, I saw the engine room. Yeah, so I would like to have a, a very clean engine room so my mechanics can work on the internal parts. Yeah, but I also noticed aside from, you know, all the regular installation and, uh, you know, the suspension work and, and engine work, um, you have like car stereo stuff going on. Yep. Is this something new? Is this something that's, because I've never seen car stereo and a tuning shop in Taiwan that's together. You see that in the States, yep. but, but not in Taiwan. Yeah, because my original idea to start a factory, uh, which 
pretty much can do anything about the car. So customer, right. if they have idea, they send the car to here. We can uh, fulfill whatever they want and we can custom make parts. So that's the reason why we have not only a stereo department, we even have a CNG shop. So oh, wow. we can custom make any uh, interior, exterior parts. Yeah, well that's perfect. See, that's why I said Hub Auto is the only one-stop shop in Taiwan. Uh, this EMA trophy is... Um, the Asia uh, Championship. Yeah, yeah. That's the first international uh, championship we won uh, in 2018. Okay. We also won the 2019. So the EMA is an organization They have uh, their competition in Europe and also in Asia. And we have won the Asian Unlimited Class uh, Tuning Champions. Wow. It's that's also first time. Uh, that's very, yeah, very impressive. Yeah. For all you guys out there looking for the one-stop shop, hey, Hub Auto is the place to be. But I also heard from Mariska that there's a second location in the works. Yep. Um, when can we see the second location and what is that about? Okay, the second location will be ready in about a month. Okay. So uh, the idea to have a second place is I would like to have more lifestyle uh, service there. So okay. we add a coffee shop, nice. a very professional coffee shop, and also car detailing department. Mm. So whenever uh, people want to have a different service done, they can go to the second shops. Okay, cool. So it could be like a car hangout, a car meet and greet. Yeah. You can, you know, kind of chill there for the day, get your car worked on, yeah. and uh, you can meet different people. Yeah. So, hey, maybe we'll do like a EMC party there. Yeah, can we do one there? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, nice, thank you. <laughs> All these trophies behind me prove that they have the racing heritage from 2014 and on. I mean, you have the Le Mans series, uh, the Asian Le Mans series, even the GT3 and the GT World Challenges. And I just heard really, really good news for Hub Auto. They have qualified for the 2020 24 Hours of Le Mans. I mean, that's like Ford versus Ferrari right there. That's like, I mean, every racer's dream, right? So congratulations to Hub Auto. And this is part of the reason why I went with Hub Auto. So let's go check out what's being done to my 570S right now. So the mechanics have gotten to work. Uh, the car is up. And as you can see behind me, we have the Novatech carbon fiber parts. We also have the KW height adjustable springs right here. This is actually really cool because all we have to do is put the springs on and adjust it. And right here is the threads. So we can actually make it higher or lower. The mechanics are working on it right now. Uh, the 570S has adaptive suspension. So I don't want to touch that. All I wanted was a lower ride height to make the car look a little bit more stance and to look a little more sexy. And you know, I went with KWs, man. You can't go wrong with KWs. These are the HRE P104 SCs. These are the super lightweight series wheels. I can't wait till everything is installed. So see you in a bit. Yo, what's up guys? I'm back at Hub Auto, checking out the beast. Oh, damn. This is beautiful. Wow, the Novatech rear bumper blades. From the rear, it, ah, it's got this special stance to it now. And oh my God, dude, this rear intake, do you see that? Like, 
when you when I drive, all the airflow is going to just get sucked into here. Okay, this covers up top half of the engine lid. I guess it's like a intake scoop. It looks really badass. Oh wow, wow. Check this shit out. Because of this panel, the stock design had a small scoop here and here. And what the Novatech side scoop did is that it covered the whole entire thing. And from afar, that looks gangster. And oh, you guys see this? 600 LT style side skirts. The Novatech side skirts were a little bit bland, in my opinion, and I didn't want that. So I got the 600 LT style. Now I want to check out the front. Oh wait, carbon fiber mirrors. Extra sexy now. You know, it matches everything. Look, look at that. From this angle right here, you see this, the scoop, the intake, as well as the wing. Oh man, total transformation. I am so happy with this. And I got to show you guys the front. I didn't tell you guys because the package actually came right after we dropped off the car. We had another package that was sitting at customs, which was the front lip and the side skirts. Now we have the 600 LT style front lip and the front side splitters. Now, let's take a look at the interior because they worked on that as well. Opening up these doors never gets old. I gotta check this. Oh, look what I got. Look at that. Ooh, sexy. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Before, it was like carpet. It was just a rug. Now we got matte carbon. This is bomb. This is so dope. You opened up the car. Boom. Oh, and check this out. This is a nice touch. I got the speaker door panel in matte carbon fiber to match the rest of the interior. I mean, come on. This car is like so sweet right now. Check out the wheels. I got matte black finish. Um, I will put in the McLaren center caps later on. I got the adapters for the McLaren center cap, so I'll put those on after that. I'm gonna get the car off the lift. I'm gonna put it in hub auto so you guys can see everything. And uh, this is 20 inch in the front, 20 by nine, and I got 21 by 12s in the rear. So come on and check that out too. Ooh, see the concave? It goes in and hold on, I gotta check. I gotta check, I gotta make sure. Yeah, it's pretty flush. Yep, let's do the finger check. One and one in a little bit. This ride height is just right. Um, these are 21 inch bad boys. Oh God, this car looks so sweet. Mwah. Dude, Tai Swaila. Teach you some Chinese. Tai Swaila. Like me, Tai Swaila. <laughs> Swai is handsome in the slang. I mean, shit, that shit is dope. You know, it's in a Tai Swaila. This black and white carbon. Let me check, yes, it's almost, it's the same as the rare. I dropped it about 1.5 centimeters. Obviously, they also did an alignment for me. So the wheels and the suspension and everything has been aligned. She's almost perfect. We have a couple more parts, but you guys will have to wait because I am waiting and there's no other way around it. We all have to wait. The guys here at Hub Auto are so professional. Their service is amazing. They really know what they're doing. So their link is down below. Big ups to Hub Auto, man. And thank you so much, Morris. You're the man. We appreciate what you're doing. So EMC, we fully support Hub Auto. Hopefully you guys will too. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.